برای تمام خواهران دیده و ندیده ام برای روزی که از هر کجای دنیا دوباره به ایران بازگردیم دست در دست هم در خیابانها آواز بخوانیم بلند بلند
برای مادرم برای حسرت یک زندگی معمولی برای درد و سکوت و تاریکی مسیر فرودگاه امام برای جمع کردن کل اتاقم توی دو تا چمدون 23 کیلویی برای دست دادن پدر بزرگم از راه دور و درد کشیدن از راه دور دور از کشورم دور از پدر بزرگم دور از خانوادم برای تمام تحقیل ها و تحدید هایی که این سال ها کردید برای محسن ما هم اکیر و چشمهاش تا ابد برای محسن محمد پور برای عمرمون که تو حسرت داشتن مسلم ترین حقوق رو میتلم شد برای دل تک تک خانواده هایی که عزیزانشون تو این اترازات دارن از دست میدن یا تو اترازات قبلی از دست دادن و حتی جنازه هاشون هم داشتون تحریل داده نمیشه برای کودکان افغان برای تصویر تکرار این لحظه برای این همه برای غیر تکراری برای تیرباران های سال پنجا و هفت برای قطع های زنجیری، برای گورستان خاوران، برای کوی دانشگاه، برای کشتار 88 برای دیماه 96 برای آبان 98 برای تمامی قربانیان هواپیمای اوکراینی، برای نبید افکاری، برای روح الله زم که گفت شما میگین اقتشاشات، ما میگیم اعتراضات، برای محسا، برای حدیث، برای همه ما، برای زن زندگی آزادی. When my trust hung from the feeble rope of just Nothing at all 
This is not my voice. This is the voice of my grandmother. It's the sound of her falling tears and her prayers for the son whose precious life they took. It's her endless sigh of missing her children who had to run away. This is the voice of my mother who got paralyzed for months with my sister in her belly after hearing Mahmoud was executed. This is for the silence of my father that was thousand times louder than our daily screams and fights over the helplessness of our realities. This is the voice of my sister whose sobs of humiliation I heard so very often Humiliation she received on the streets, at her school on daily basis, for not being able to love who she loved, for not being able to be who she was. And she was beautiful. This is the pain of all the goodbyes I did not want to say. And for the days I felt like the loneliest creature in the entire world. This is for the last time I saw Mom and John from the car window when she knew that this will be our last goodbye. This is for not being able to be there when she died. This is for my displacement for more than 22 years of a place I once called home. Yes, this is also my voice. Singing all these years, shouting my lungs out, pouring myself out every single time in front of your widened eyes. I was singing for this very moment to tell myself that we are still alive, that I am still alive, to prove to myself that I still feel that I'm strong and I've been carrying a treasure I did not know the value of. I have been singing exactly for this moment, and in this very moment, I am not me anymore. This voice, this voice is the trembling of a nation, living in pain, despair, and humiliation for too long. It is a disgust, the rage, and the hope at the same time. It is the courageous decision that finally shouts out, enough is enough. No words can describe how we feel inside. Only our voices can sing it, and even that fails. There will be a day where you will see, where you will see the result of our decisions, rooted in a power that can move mountains. A power that will be shared with my Afghan sisters, Syrian sisters, Palestinian sisters, Ukrainian sisters. Iraqi sisters, Iranian sisters, Kurdish sisters, Turkish sisters, Yemeni sisters, the list goes on and on. So hear my voice, let yourself be moved by it and change, change the way you think about others whose names you might have never even heard of. Names that you might hear now and then on the streets or the newspaper about how they have been shipped back to where they belong shipped like a package of bad goods to the middle of hell. Not realizing that you're looking away plays a direct role in bringing them here, 
in the first place. So hear my voice, full of pain for life, yet soaked with joy, throbbing up like my beating heart, and shouting out, Jin, Jian, Azadi, Jin, Jian, Azadi, Jin, Jian, Azadi, Zan, Zandegi, Azadi, Zan, Zandegi, Azadi.
جوانهای پرپرمان جوانهای پرپرمان پس میگیریم از شما پس میگیریم